In this After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this effect that you see on the screen. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. Have fun watching. So we create a composition with the settings, click OK, and then I import the project file that I have, and then press S to scale it down to around 32%. And then you will need to download this from Google, just type in newspaper front page so you can follow me along for this video. So I also import the video up here and then scale this, scale this down as well. And then I'll move this to somewhere around here. Zoom in a little. And while holding shift I can just scale this up like that. So we want to mask this here now, so I'll press select this and then press T to bring the opacity a little down so that I can mask out better. So I select the layer and then zoom in, select the rectangle tool and then while having the layer selected I draw a rectangle to make a mask. And now I bring the opacity back, so I press T, but before that we can, if you want to, we can, if the mask isn't accurate enough, we select the mask 1 here, and then with move tool we can always select the mask points individually and then move and make better selection with the mask. So I select this one and then move this if you want to make a better selection. So now we can press T for opacity and then we bring it back to 100%. So if we, this one has a sound, so I'll press L and then drop this to minus 50 audio levels. And then when we play this back, we can see the video. So I'll press Alt and left bracket, I'll give this a few cuts. So I'll move this here. I want this I want it to start from this place. I can actually cut it from here. So I go I give it a few cuts and then move this here. I want it to begin from this place. So looking fine. And now I'm gonna go to fifth second. So this is where I want the frame to freeze. So I'll go to edit and then click on this split layer. So this will split this split this layer into another layer above. We will be using this to freeze the frame so we right click go to time and then freeze frame so as you can see this won't be moving after fifth second this won't be moving so now we are gonna add a tint effect to this so go to effects and presets type in tint Add it here, we can rename this, so press enter, rename this to freeze frame. And then we can rename the other one to video. And now we want to make this, we want to animate this so it slowly turns into black and white. So we give this a tint effect as well, so we copy this, control C, we can copy this and then paste it to the video. And then we set a keyframe, we go to 5th second and then set a keyframe to amount to tint, keep it 100 and then move by, move back by 1 second. And then I'll press U to view the keyframes and then set another keyframe for this and then I change this to 0. 
so it will slowly turn into black and white just like that I'll press Ctrl A to select everything and then close the extra settings and now we turn all of this to 3D layers by clicking onto this cube icon here we click over here so the cube icon shows and if you don't see this option just press F4 or click here toggle switches slash modes and now we want to animate this so we right click go to new right click new and then camera click ok the settings are fine right click again new null object so we can name this controller because we will be controlling the camera with this so we turn this into 3d object as well and then parent this parent camera to null object and now press p for position and then now we want to animate this to zoom in so we change the values here z value and then y value we need to fit this screen fit this into the screen so I zoom out and then with I change the Z value here we can change the X value as well so basically just play with the settings let's have a look at it this could be fine so now we set a keyframe on position at the beginning we go to fifth second set another keyframe now we move by 20 frames so shift page down shift page down again and now we can zoom out a little by changing this z value and then we can make this we can zoom this out even more so it reveals as if you're actually reading a newspaper article and now we select everything and then press F9 now we can have a look at the animation <laughs> 